third graders have been studying the importance of the wetlands on Crocker. Students put on their muck clothes and waded into the wetlands to discover which plants and insects were thriving in our calcareous muck fen. Throughout our unit of study, students explored the wetlands, both as a filter for the stream and as a habitat for plants and animals. We splashed out to Crocker through puddles left by recent rains. We listened for signs of life from the boardwalk. And finally, we got to wade down into the muck for a much anticipated closer look at the habitat. After two weeks of study, students felt ready for our wetlands field day, an event planned as the culmination of the unit. Brent Barito from the USDA returned as our soil and wetland plant expert, joined by Allison Pon, an education and program support specialist, working with the Lord Fairfax Soil and Water Conservation District. We learned from them about distinct wetland soils, water-loving plants, native trees, aquatic invertebrates, and measures of water quality. Students rotated between three stations. At the pavilion, Mrs. Gilpin led a habitat hunt. Students concluded that a wide variety of native species could find a suitable home on the crocker. At another station, in the wetland itself, students used their senses to explore. As Mr. Barito explained, the colors and textures of the mud pulled up by a soil sampler. As we held the soil in our hands, students were fascinated to hear that a handful of healthy soil contains more organisms than there are humans on the earth. Roseville Run was high today, but despite the strong current and muddy waters that follow heavy rains, Ms. Pond, Mrs. Slavin, and the students were able to find some promising evidence of life in the stream. After mastering the macroinvertebrate shuffle, students waded out into the stream to see what aquatic critters they could uncover. Their favorite catches of the day were two crayfish, a couple of small fish, and several damselfly nymphs. It was a wonderful afternoon of learning, and we want to say a huge thank you to the two conservation professionals who came to share their expertise with us. Their enthusiasm for the mud, the critters, and the plants was obvious as they shared their wealth of knowledge, but they also conveyed a sense of wonder and appreciation for the natural world. What a great and lasting lesson to share with our students.